Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss another important part from research article. So, in our previous videos, we discussed about the structure of abstract. So, in this video, we will learn the structure of introduction. What are the components or the elements must be present in the introduction, and uh, how to start the introduction and uh, what should be written in the introduction so that we are going to discuss in this video so coming to the introduction in the introduction uh, we should start about uh, the general information of the research topic or the research area then we have to narrow down uh, the topic to the a specific uh, a specific area in that particular research topic so this is the way we have to write the research article so let us see this article and its structure to understand uh, how to write the research article so coming to this research paper title so cdc 42 interacting protein 4 that means cip4 promotes tgp b1 induced emt and extracellular matrix deposition in renal proximal tubular epithelial cells so this paper uh, about uh, kidney or renal related uh, research topic so these papers study about the renal proximal tubular epithelial cells in these particular cells uh, they explained about uh, epithelial mesenchymal transition so when this epithelial mesenchymal transition it occurs in renal proximal tubular epithelial cells so this emt converts these epithelial cells to myofibroblasts and uh, this myofibroblasts they cause the chronic kidney disease and renal fibrosis so the broad area of this research is about the kidney disease or the kidney disorder or malfunction so let us see the structure of uh, the introduction of this article so this article is published in very famous uh, very famous journal of biological sciences uh, international journal of biological sciences so very famous journal so coming to introduction see they started with uh, uh, very specific here actually see let us read the first few lines of this introduction over the fast uh, Decade injured renal tubular epithelial cells have been implicated in increasing kidney my myofibroblast populations through the process of EMT, ultimately leading to inevitable progressive chronic kidney disease and renal tubulo interstitial fibrosis. So, actually, they should have written like this actually. Uh, so there has been a significant research on uh, chronic kidney disease and renal fibrosis and uh, there is a mo there are more prevalent uh, of uh, these cases observed in worldwide so this this is how they should have written actually in shell uh, in the first few lines so if they write directly the space uh, topic under this uh, area so many readers may not understand uh, exactly what about this and all so if we write few lines uh, very simple and uh, the general aspect of uh, that particular area so that readers they get connected to the research work that we have explained in the paper so they should have written two lines at least sometimes in few papers uh, where we see even the whole paragraph uh, explaining the general information of uh, that particular uh, 
reads uh, that particular area general information so we observe but in some papers at least uh, they write uh, uh, first one or two lines in the first paragraph uh, about that particular uh, uh, about that uh, the general information of that particular research area so that is very important so um, the general information or the background information uh, that uh, explains the significance of the work and all see suppose uh, in this case uh, if we explain the prevalence of uh, this disease worldwide so with the statistics uh, means you now how many, many number of individuals have been suffering with this kind of disease and the reports latest reports on the disease statistics and all in the first paragraph so that uh, the readers get connected to uh, <clears throat> get connected to our work uh, even they understand the significance and the problem of uh, this particular uh, pro and the problem of this particular uh, disease uh, among the population so they understand the significance of our work so here the authors they explain directly uh the general information once we complete the general information then we can uh, explain uh, the specific information uh, in from that uh, research area so that we can write in the second paragraph if suppose we write only one or two lines with uh, about the general information the remain uh, the remaining lines in the first paragraph can be uh, that can be about uh, the specific area of that uh, research or uh, uh, the niche i can say that uh, the niche from that research area so for example the niche can be like anything so uh, suppose uh, this the chronic kidney disease uh, uh, the general information if it is uh, that is general information so niche can be like you know genetics uh, about uh, that chronic kidney disease like you know what are the genetic uh, related issues uh, that are contributing uh to this disease or uh, molecular mechanisms uh, also can be uh, uh, can be written in the niche and uh, next uh, um, proteomics and genomics so suppose uh, we can write about the genomics like you no know, uh, what are the genes uh, responsible for these and uh, also uh, what are the uh, and their expression levels uh, in the patients of uh, Uh, this particular disease then proteomics uh, what are the proteins uh, that are uh, uh, up regulated or down regulated uh, in this particular individuals so we can also that can also be about the diagnosis also so so diagnosis uh, what are the diagnosis methods available for this one so next uh, treatment what are the current treatments or approaches uh, to cure this disease or it can be also about the prevalence of the disease what are the methods to be used to prevent this disease so that comes in the second paragraph where we are talking a uh, very specific about disease uh, if suppose uh, we are talking about the molecular mechanism in the uh, in the second paragraph uh, uh, that means uh, we are uh, trying to find out uh, some research problem uh, in that particular aspect of uh, this disease that means we are going to find out some research gap or the research problem with respect to the molecular mechanism or if we uh, if we write about the genomics uh, of uh, this one of this this is that means uh, uh, we are uh, going to target uh, about or we are going to point out the research uh, gap or the research problem or we are going to challenge uh, the existing uh, information of the genomics in this uh, a uh, particular uh, uh, aspect uh, that means in the genomics so same uh, in case of the proteomics and all so in a single paper we never write all these things so we focus exactly one of these uh, things i'm just explaining uh, we, we can choose any one of these niche uh, in our research paper so when we uh, take any one of these we start writing the literature that is available so far uh, in this particular aspect or in this particular uh, niche of this uh, research so for example uh, when we see uh, this research paper so they have chosen uh, the cip4 protein uh, mediated biological process that is called epithelial mesenchymal transition 
so that means uh, that trying to identify the molecular mechanisms uh, behind this epithelial mesenchymal transition with respect to this uh, uh, chronic kidney disease or uh, kidney fibrosis so in uh, that's why when you see in the introduction in the first paragraph itself uh, they explain explained about the epithelial, epithelial mesenchymal transition if suppose it is about uh, uh, the treatments uh, so uh, uh, you we expect uh, information related to the treatments available uh, for these diseases uh, so the literature relevant to that uh, uh, treatments uh, available uh, can be seen in the first paragraph so since it is about molecular mechanism we see uh, the literature so far available or the research that so far uh, uh, done in this particular uh, aspect uh, and uh, see you can see the here uh, the references cited uh, related to this uh, literature so the total first paragraph is about completely the epithelial mesenchymal transition uh, biological process in this paper they are trying to find out uh, the molecular mechanisms uh, behind this EMT process in, in this particular uh, uh, APT, uh, in, part, in this particular chronic kidney disease. So, we see in the second paragraph, uh, also we see uh, the references or the literature uh, regarding to this particular EMT. So, in the literature when while we write the literature existing uh, in this particular uh, domain uh, so finally we arrive to uh, what is the missing or what is not uh, what is uh, not done so far uh, with respect to this particular disease uh, can be known through the literature only so that will become our uh, research problem and uh, to find the answer for our research problem uh, we perform uh, the research study uh, using some uh, objective or uh, with the help of the some with the help of the research methods so that becomes our uh, uh, our objective and uh, the methods to methods also and uh, while we write the research uh, problem we also mentioned the hypothesis research hypothesis also so I will like I will show in this video uh, in this particular introduction part uh, where they have written uh, their research problem and hypothesis uh, and all okay next coming to the uh, the third paragraph in third paragraph also uh, we see uh, they explained the molecular mechanism so the signaling mechanism of uh, this uh, this uh, <coughs> epithelial missing camel transition EMT so here the uh, the previous uh, literature available uh, we can see here so finally in this last sentence of this third paragraph where you can see despite the novel nature of this hypothesis and increasing support evidence the molecular mechanism behind this effect has not been fully characterized so they identified some novel nature of this uh, so some uh, mechanism so but uh, the molecule uh, they have identified this uh, some novelty in this their work but uh, signaling mechanism and all but uh, the molecular mechanism behind this is not fully characterized so this is their uh, research graph or problem identified so let us see what uh, the novel nature of this hypothesis and all so some researchers have suggested that this partial transition of missing caramel epithelial cells may regulate the in interstitial fibrosis development through paracrine signaling mechanism so the previous researchers they identified as paracrine signaling mechanism for uh, involvement in this uh, fibrosis so furthermore uh, the scientists uh, utilized the in inducible expression of TGF beta 1 in renal epithelial cells identified over expression of TGF beta 1 in renal tubules with notably uh, increased recurrence of widespread of peritubular fibrosis so when they uh, induced the expression of TGF beta 1 in the epithelial cells uh, they identified uh, 
uh, this peritubular uh, fibrosis so provide it provides a strong evidence for the mediation of excessive deposition of uh, ecm extracellular matrix by the tgf uh, beta 1 so this uh, tgf beta 1 induces uh, peritubular fibrosis and uh, uh, this uh, peritubular fibrosis mediates the uh, excessive deposition of uh, extracellular matrix and uh, so that causes uh, the process of uh, epithelial mesenchymal transition so they identified some paracrine um, signaling mechanism and tgf beta 1 involvement peritubularis but how this tgf beta 1 uh, is uh, involved in this particular uh, peritubular fibrosis is not uh, known very well so next in the next uh, paragraph there they explained about a protein that they are uh, expecting uh, to be involved in this process so that is called a cds cdc 42 interacting protein and there they have mentioned why uh, this ecm uh, this c4 can be a can be involved how it can be involved in uh, this process so in the previous literature uh, from previous literature they found that uh, cf may serve as a signaling molecule in the promotion of renal tubular emt this is their hypothesis so in the previous uh, uh, papers literature they identified that c4 plays a role in the ecm regulation extracellular mat um, matrix regulation and all so therefore um, they hypothesized uh, that this c4 could be involved in uh, even the renal tubular emt but with respect to renal tubular uh, emt there are no research there is no there are no research works and um, that's why the present study examines the potential mediation of uh, tgf beta 1 induced emt by c4 see how the tgf4 um how this tj4 inducing uh, this emt is not very well known but uh, they know that the tj beta 1 causes the emt but uh, how the tj uh, this tj beta 1 induces if, uh, this is emt is not uh, studied with respect to this one so therefore they studied uh, how this tj beta 1 causing the emt in the renal tubular cells so and they found that tgf beta 1 is indu uh, is uh, activating or uh, inducing uh, the c4 protein which in turn uh, causes uh, the epithelial mesenchymal transition and the em the role of c4 with respect to emt is uh, very well established and uh, the relevant literature regarding this uh, they have written in this particular uh, paragraph also here so um, their aim, so their hypothesis that C4 may serve as a signaling molecule in the promotion of renal tubular EMT, that is their hypothesis. And aim is the present study is uh, examines the potential mediation of TG pattern induced uh, EMT by C4. So that is their aim. <coughs> so this is the uh, introduction from one research. So this is how we have to read the research papers if we read the whole introduction part that takes so much of time if you know what is important and what uh, would be there in the first paragraph or the second paragraph and what would be there in the third paragraph so you can jump it to directly that particular section to go through that particular article so this is this is helpful to uh, read your research article very quickly and also and to write your own uh, research paper introduction also what components should be there while you write your uh, research paper so first you have to write the general information or uh, background or significance in the first paragraph or uh, at least the few lines of the first paragraph if your re uh, readers are uh, very you so you that uh, depends on uh, 
the article you are submitting if you are submitting to very particular article suppose you are uh, submitting to um, submitting your article to journal which is very specific to diabetes so obviously readers who uh, study that particular journal um, are uh, uh, no uh, have they know the complete information of uh, the basic information or the general information of the diabetes so there if you write two lines that's enough so if you are uh, submitting to journal which is not uh, um, publishing only the diabetes it publishes cancer and so many diseases uh, uh, research data so in such case uh, there you have to write the whole paragraph about uh, this particular uh, the particular disease that you are uh, uh, talking about so in the next second paragraph you have to write uh, uh, the niche niche means the specific uh, area that you are talking from this uh, particular disease so about genomics or about the proteomics or the genetics or the treatment or uh, diagnosis or prevention so that could be anything so you have to write what are the literature available and in, in that particular genetics or the particular genomics and all so when you write one or two paragraphs about that uh, um, one or two paragraphs about uh, that you know niche or the general uh, sorry the specific area with relevant citations so you will uh, finally end end that particular niche with the research problem so while you write the literature they will find uh, the research gap and um, that research gap or the that becomes the research problem of your study and you have the problem now research problem so you have to identify the answer for it so to identify that answer uh, this you will conduct the research uh, you conduct the experiments and all so that becomes your aim or the objective of your uh, research and then after that you will write what are the methods you use to find answer for your questions so that also we should write one or two lines in the last paragraph so these are the components must be present in your uh, introduction part so general information then niche um, then from the niche you have to identify the problem and uh, you can also take the relevant uh, relevant uh, research done uh, with uh, respect to this particular other diseases and you I propose or you uh, I, I, you can develop hypothesis that that particular uh, process which is involved in some other uh, diseases may be also uh, the responsible for uh, this kind of biological process in uh, this disease for example uh, it's, it's c4 protein so c4 protein is a well established uh, um, protein in cancer studies and there it is reported that it, uh, it produces or it uh, induces uh, the epithelial missing camel transition so when it comes to kidney fibrosis uh, chronic kidney diseases where EMT uh, process biological process is uh, identified by researchers so researchers reported that EMT uh, is causing that fibrosis or uh, chronic kidney disease but uh, whether this CYP4 is uh, is contributing for this uh, particular type of uh, kidney uh, this EMT uh, in this particular uh, kidney disease is not uh, known to anyone so uh, there we can write that c4 could be playing a role in inducing uh, this emt in the kidney fibrosis so we hypothesis that the c4 could be playing a role in inducing emt in the this kidney fibrosis so that becomes our hypothesis so then hypothesis from hypothesis we can uh, write then after hypothesis we can write the aim what is the aim of this one so this study is aimed to evaluate the role of uh, the c4 protein in uh, this uh, emt of uh, uh, the fibrosis that becomes our uh, objective or the aim so then we write the, what are the methods we use like uh, gene knockout methods or uh, gene uh, overexpression methods 
um, what are the methods that we used uh, to find the answer for our research problem so this must be present this information must be present in the introduction so introduction part is very important so actually um, e this actually this part actually decides uh, uh, when we submit article uh, whether our article is to be published in uh, repeated journals or not that's why we should take care of uh, right we should be very careful uh, while writing our introduction so we should give at most care for it to make it more attractive and uh, so that it creates a <coughs> lot of uh, uh, curiosity in the readers while uh, they read our research paper thank you